Heinz Christian Strache has a checkered past, a neo-Nazi legacy he's trying to shed now he's the Vice-Chancellor of Austria, giving the far-right Freedom Party a respectable face. Antisemitism and racial slurs have no place in our society, and especially not in the Freedom Party. But that's only when they know they're not being watched. Here's former Chancellor Christian Kern saying racism has no place in Austria's politics. Everyone claps, except the FPO. Now an I-24 News investigative report uncovers a string of recent anti-Semitic incidents in the FPO and reveals the deep connection between this far-right party and the Borschenschaften, the German nationalist student fraternities that provide its backbone. Here's Strache visiting Yad Vashem, Israel's Holocaust memorial, in 2010. But that's not a keeper on his head. It's the beer cap of his Vandalia Wien fraternity. Its motto... German, united, loyal, without timidity. Austrian media report 18 of the FPO's MPs, or nearly 40%, belong to Borschenschaften. Strache's MPs include Wolfgang Zanger of the Vandalia Graz fraternity. Of course, National Socialism had its good sides, but we no longer hear about that today. These secretive societies provide a reservoir of manpower for the Freedom Party, and anti-Semitism is part of their DNA. In January, media leaked the Germania fraternity's racist songbook. Step on the gas, you old Germanics, the text said, so we can make it to 7 million. The fraternity's deputy chairman was FBO candidate Udo Landbauer. Strache accused the paper that leaked the songbook of attempting to sabotage his campaign. A month later, the Bruna Sudetia songbook leaked, this time with the words, Two Jews, one swam in the Nile, one drowned, the other, we hope so. In April, Vienna's Olympia fraternity invited convicted Nazi supporter Ugo Voigt of Germany's neo-Nazi NPD to give a speech. Olympia has two FPO MPs. Strache sets the bar for anti-Semitism lower than many expect. He posted this caricature on Facebook in 2012. It shows a fat banker with a big nose and stars of David on his cufflinks. The post is still up. This is very primitive anti-Semitic agitation that you're doing here. I would say not everything that people are connecting to anti-Semitism out of party political motives because they disagree with us has something to do with anti-Semitism. There's absolutely no anti-Semitism in the text or the image. The party still hasn't shaken off its dark past. In March, FPO councillor Hans Fromm in Vienna denied he was an anti-Semite for rejecting municipal funding for Holocaust memorials. He said the Jews had enough money. And IMPS district chairman's WhatsApp message Hitler, please contact me. Germany needs you. The FBO holds power in Austria, the junior partner in Sebastian Kurz's administration, and the envy of the far right across Europe. It claims it is reformed to make new friends, but its old friends tell a different story.